Welcome to this video on, um, it's going to be a, a first part of actually four quick videos, perhaps maybe not so quick, but um, about once you have data in one of our tracker apps, expense tracker, biz expense tracker, mile tracker, time tracker, what do you do next? What, what, what are some of the things that you encounter and uh, at once you have data? Um, the first one, this one is going to be on backing up and restoring. Uh, the second one is going to be on emailing. The third one is on exporting. And the fourth one is going to be on device syncing, the ability to sync your data between uh, two devices. So let's get started with backing up. The first thing you should do is um, decide if you want to back up using something we call Sync Docs or Dropbox or even perhaps iCloud. Those are your three options when backing up. Now Sync Docs is an option which allows you to back up directly to your Mac or PC and to um, it requires it has certain requirements that we should let you know about. We do have a help page on our website which outlines all this but uh, the purpose of this video is actually to have you see some of the things take place. But I'll mention that you need to be connected, your device needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi network, and your computer needs to be connected to that same Wi-Fi network, not through an Ethernet hardwired cable, but rather a, um, the Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a laptop connected to the Wi-Fi, and then you have your device connected to Wi-Fi, Sync Docs will work. So let's take a look at, at uh, setting up to back up using Sync Docs. If we go into Prefs, and we go to Backup Services. Now right now I'm running an iPad simulator on my Macintosh computer. Uh, to, so that might look a little uh, strange to you, but it's, it's actually a, a computer simulator of the iPad so that we can actually take a look at the Mac screen and also the, uh, in this case, the iPad screen. But this is the same on the iPhone app as well. So in this case we have two choices, Sync Docs and Dropbox. We're going to click on Sync Docs. Now if this device was um, had iCloud enabled, there would be a third choice, iCloud. Now let's talk about backing up. Backing up at this particular time when this video is made is not automatic. You have to issue a command to create a backup. Uh, perhaps in the future we're hoping to make it so that it is automatic so you can make a setting, but right now it's, it's not automatic. So you actually have to go into the app and issue a command that says do the backup. Um, we'll select Sync Docs here. Now Sync Docs is an option, like I said, it uses a Wi-Fi network. It's part of the app and um, does not require any additional add-ons. So you don't have to purchase anything additional. You can go to our website, silverwaresoftware.com slash syncdocs.html and um, or go to just to the, uh, the um, support page and scroll down and you'll see a, a link to it. Um, you need to download a little applet on your Mac or PC. Now I have for the uh, I have it all set up here in this folder sync docs. I've already downloaded the applet. Here I'm just going to launch it. What it's going to do is it's going to run a little applet it just sits back there and waits for files to be sent to it. So I'm going to close this here. I'm going to keep this screen open. I'm going to save our settings here. And then I'm, I have, I've already created one log with one very simple entry. We want to take a look at it. We tap on the log to open the log. It has a very simple entry there. I'm going to go back to logs. Click on this upper left hand corner bot button to go back to the logs. Tap on options and select Backup to Desktop. As you notice, there's no icon next to Backup to Desktop. If we had selected Dropbox, there'd be a Dropbox icon similar to this one. Or if we selected iCloud, there would be a gray iCloud icon next to this. So I'm going to just select Backup to Desktop. Now this is just a little help page to show you. There's, there's the website, silverwaresoftware.com slash syncdocs.html. Okay. It asks us if we want to do a complete backup or since last backup. If you've been doing regular backups, 
select since last backup because what that'll do is only back up the necessary files that have changed since you did a backup. Since we haven't created a backup yet, I'm going to hit complete. And it's going to come up and give me a list of all the servers or, or items on this particular Wi-Fi network. The one we want to select is the one named SyncDocs. So you just tap on that and the backup is successful. Now you're going to say where are those files? Well the files are in a folder at the same level of sync docs for applet in a folder called downloads. Now if you're on a PC don't get that confused with the downloads folder that's your, your, your main downloads folder it's not that it's a new folder called downloads lowercase d. If you open that up there'll be a, a file called a folder called expense tracker dash backup if you're running expense tracker and if you're not running expense tracker it, the name of the app you're running will be replaced um, here so in this case we're running expense tracker we open that up and lo and behold there's two files um, you can always have a minimum of two files for the backup this is your database and this is your preferences file if you have captured images with your camera in Expense Tracker or in one of our other tracker apps, you'll have a, a se separate folder. It'll say Images. And if you open that up, it'll have all the individual JPEG files that represent your photo images, that you, the photo receipts you've taken. Now, let's talk about backing up a little more. Backing up is just the, the, the process of making a bit for bit copy of all your data and storing it someplace. So we've got the backup of these two files. It's not meant to, these files are not meant to be opened by the user. They're not meant to be um, edited. You can't edit them because you don't have the appropriate tools to open them up and, and, and look at them. But they're just not, they're meant to be saved for, for, for a day where you need to do a restore. So the opposite of backing up is restoring. And, and we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. So right now we have two files. Close that up. Now let's go back to Prefs and see the other option, which is Dropbox. Now, depending on which app you have, Dropbox is either included or not. If it's not, then you will be required to purchase uh, an add-on to, to use Dropbox. But before you purchase it, come in here, check to see if you have it. If not, then you can purchase the appropriate add-on. Um, the, the, the Dropbox iCloud add-on is one dollar and when you purchase that then you'll have the Dropbox option here as well as the iCloud if you have iCloud enabled. Um, now to use Dropbox um, you need to create a Dropbox account. You can create a free Dropbox account at, at the Dropbox website which is www.dropbox.com so let's select Dropbox. Now here is a, a a button that appears that says sign out. Um, that indicates that I've, I've already signed in. Um, let, let's, um, for, for the purpose of this video uh, I won't do go through the sign in process but if this said sign in you tap on it you'd enter your Dropbox credentials and then this app will be given permission to access your data. Now remember that um, Dropbox is um, uh, is uh, is a third-party service. So, um, and in addition, what I, what I wanted to say was that um, when you enter in your username and password and sign in for Dropbox, you go to the Dropbox website. So our apps never know your password. We're just given a special access code to get and save to your to your Dropbox. But we are never told your username nor are we told your password. It's a very secure system. So now that we've done this, I'm going to save. We're going to hit the options button and you can see with the backup now it has a blue Dropbox button. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select complete. Wait, wait a moment for the files to upload. And then they're there. Now since I'm running on a Mac, it has a little notification here that the files were added. Let's go take a look at those files. Open my Dropbox. Open the Apps folder. Open the Expense Tracker folder. There's the Backup folder. Open the Backup folder. And there are the two files. 
Now, because we're talking about backup, we've got to talk about restore. Um, restore is, like I said, the opposite of backup. It's when you something bad has happened to your, your device, you've gotten a new device, and you need to get your data back on. Now, sure, you can use the iTunes backup or the complete iCloud backup, but what's nice about this backup feature is that it's an individual backup. It backs up only our app's data. It's very focused. And when you want, need to get this data back, you can do an individual restore. And that's what we're going to do. So let's wipe this file, this, this log out. I'm just going to swipe across it, hit delete. Yes, I want to delete it. Absolutely. Okay, the log is gone. So now I'm going to tap the options button, choose restore. Yes, I absolutely want to store. Now remember, restore is, will completely overwrite any data on this device. It'll take the snapshot of the backup that you created and restore all that data. So I'm going to hit restore, wait a moment, and there it is. Restore successful. You'll notice that the data is back. We open it up. There's the single entry. This, this restores not only that, it'll restore the images if you had any images, it'll, it, and it restores the preferences. And I think that is all we want to talk about uh, with backup. Thank you for uh, joining with this video. I recommend that you watch the next video, which is the email video. If you don't have any interest in doing emails, emailing your data, you can skip that and go right to the export, which allows you to send your files directly to your computer. Thank you very much.